Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. So today I'm going to be making uh, another emperor, uh, another, 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 another emperor, because I've made so many. <laughs> but uh, this is actually going to be one that a lot of people have often asked if I'm going to make. And it is going to be, once it's finished, you have to bear in mind that this is all pieces added together. It will end up being the uh, TV21 Golden Emperor. Now that is literally just the start point. Obviously I need to trim off the base so he's only got the three spheres and then obviously repaint him and redo him. You may recognize this top bit as part of my uh, Paradigm uh, Emperor. Unfortunately, um, it uh, had started to come to pieces so I've decided to salvage what little bits I can of it and I thought I'd use this. I need to trim off the glue just because I notice it while I'm doing it. And I thought I'd use this to do the uh, top part of the uh, Emperor Dalek just to give it something a bit different because I can't remember I can't remember um, where I saw it but I have seen one that's got this sort of uh, mid section piece to it so I thought I'd add that on as part of the design. As I said obviously the next part is to uh, I need to trim off the base and I'm also going to fit it onto a new series base um, rather than a classic one but then what I may do is tear them up like this I don't know I'm going to wait and see uh, how it comes together and how it comes out. Now, as I said, a lot of people have requested this uh, over the years, and it's actually worth saying, before I started YouTube, um, this was actually one of the first Dalek customs uh, that I made, um, and I, I was never happy with the finished product, so I ended up selling it, but unfortunately, um, I don't have any pictures of it, and um, I don't know who got it in the end, uh, but I was, you know, I, I, was, I was really determined at some point to have a go at it again. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to give it a go because I've found this uh, other just random Dalek custom I had. Um, it wasn't meant to be anything in particular. It was just uh, an experiment with use of some spares. But as you might be able to see, the mold uh, has started to attack this one as well. So it seemed like a good time to use it for spares and also to um, do something better with it. So uh, first things first is to take apart uh, the base, in fact, yes, I think I've already done that. So the first step is going to be to trim off uh, this lower section so I can uh, get everything in place for it to be able to fix uh, properly into the new series skirt or possibly to be layered on top. So let's get on with that now.
And here is my finished Golden Emperor. So, uh, for those of you wondering, this design actually comes from another of Librarian Bot's renders. There is a link to the specific one in the description. I've gone for a style that's a little bit different in places, but overall it's got this general look that I wanted to. Um, there's a few things on this that I wish I could have done a bit better. What I didn't realise when I um, when I did this, and unfortunately it was so long since I did my original one, I didn't think to remember this point, is I've accidentally trimmed the uh, lower half here a little bit too close to the spheres. I basically trimmed it in between the spheres. If you're going to do this yourself, I would recommend trimming as close to the lower spheres as possible so you've got a bit more um, lift to the bottom of it. Uh, I may go back and do it again in future. Um, just so I can uh, get the right sort of height on it, but just generally I'm actually really pleased with how it's come out. Um, obviously I've gone for lights on the back. I didn't have any red LEDs, so these are actually uh, clear ones, painted red. Um, and I've just given them one quick coat, so they've still got a slight sort of see-throughness. I decided to add a uh, new series um, uh, eye stalk cover, just because it looked a bit weird with the eye stalk on its own. And then for the eye stalk itself, I've actually used... Um, the same eye stalk that was on the Dalek that I've made this from and it was basically originally meant to sort of evoke the uh, planet of the Daleks um, supreme with the sort of red uh, tinge to it. Unfortunately on the original um, it just didn't work but on this one I actually think it works a lot better because the red sort of tint does go with the lights of it. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased with how this has come out and if I bring in one of my other the other Golden Emperor that I do still have, um, which again you can see this one in my uh, live in another Life from the Workshop video. Uh, they're relatively the same sort of uh, size, but um, as much as I do like this one and I like the sort of you know the new series style that I've given it, I really prefer the sort of three. Uh, I like the fact that this is. Uh, about the same size, but it's got additional things like the missing the missing spheres, and it just makes it look a it just makes it look different to any other to any other Dalek model really. And I think that's why um, it's come out so well, as it is just something that again is something that it's something that I've done before, but at the same time it is something that is very different. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Um, and uh, it's certainly going to be one that I'm going to put on uh, display in my collection. As I said, I might go back and redo the base at some point if I ever uh, find myself with another with another um, spare Dalek that I can uh, use for parts. It's just a bit of a shame that it didn't work out this time, but, you know, live and learn. So, as always, I hope you enjoy this video. Like, favourite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot, and I will see you all with another video very soon.